Most importantly, though, Matt, shut up and consume because it's now time to talk about the spooktacular trading post uh, for this month. Uh, yes, um, open up your wallets, uh, dispense your tenders, and um, think about how expensive everything is. Because, man, um, this is another rather expensive month. Uh, everything comes in at a rather huge 8,750 uh, tender. I'm not sure how many of those are, like, old items kind of cycled back in. Um, I don't think it's any this time. Wow. Okay, so at I any rate, then. Any this time. I'm not sure, though. This is... This is expensive. We're obviously seeing the bundles in the store that include Trader's Tender. So, yes, that is the business of WoW. That being said, the uh, the reward for finishing it's actually really cool. So, um, you know, go do that. Um, now then, time to talk about some potential future consumption occasions for trading uh, Trader's Tender's bonuses. So, uh, November is going to be a big month for this. We've got the 12-month subscription bundle uh, refreshing. Wait, what? The next installment of the 12 month sub bundle. I, I think I think Dakor is using the crack again. It's what? A, it's a six month sub bundle, not a 12 month sub. There's a 12 month bundle, Michael. What? There's a 12 month sub bundle now. What? They made it last year, yeah. What? I don't know how many more times I can say that there is a 12 month sub bundle. But it has the it same, rewards, same rewards and price as the six months, right? Same price. Oh my God, look at this. Upgrade to a 12-month World of Warcraft subscription and get more. Yeah. What? Yeah, welcome to... Welcome to fucking this year, mate. Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. The 12 month subscription includes three new mounts along with everything in the six month offer. Oh, I thought it was just, I didn't know it had its own unique things. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Bobby's world. I didn't right, know this. The world of Warcraft's my job. Oh no. Okay, 12 month subscription items. Telix, the Stormhorn. A simple beetle that became infused with storm magic. When Okay, so you get a beetle um, and a big murloc. Okay, so the difference is you get a beetle and a murloc. Of course. And then also you get the worm from the six month and then the next six month. So now Mike needs a vacation, Matt. He's literally just back from one. <laughs> Oh, my, oh God. my God. Yeah? I forgot about this entirely. Uh, okay. Well, then, yes, the 12-month sub bundle could indeed have some traders tender, as could the next six-month bundle. Also, the 11.0 expansion pre-order bundles, the BlizzCon collection, formerly known as the Virtual Ticket, maybe a store anniversary pack, and, of course, more monthly store bundles. Ah, why is this alcohol-free? Man loses last bit of hope he didn't know he had um yeah well that all um yeah wow okay let's go yeah that's um many consumption occasions happening in november um but another trader uh, trading related news uh, you know to, to brighten up the story for today you can now make the original dwarf in world of warcraft let's go there we go <laughs> took a while uh so that's good um also chainmail these are really nice i bought both of them that said they're 150 each and they are pretty similar and that kind of feels like it's taking the piss do not let dakor's outfit or appearance inform you anything about who he is <laughs> no statement necessary so um yes that's what his character is wearing um anyway yeah chainmail really good as a tab art um tab art's being used for like more than just the low resolution smudge smear good it's good, yeah. Good, because most of them have kind of sucked. Um, yeah, so, I mean, man, it's like you look at all these tender costs. We've got the Dim, Cold Flame, Core for 700. Little KT for 650. Imp and a Ball, 350. You know, 450 and 500 for all the class stuff. It's like, man, you thought, okay, the class stuff, well, that'll be the bulk of the stuff we'll be buying. And nope. I mean, this, the this that helm, the Headmaster Skullcap is 500. Yeah, that's... It's like, that helm is 500. Compare that to what the class armor is going for. 
The Helm of the Fierce, though, is 225. Ah, that was previously on the trading post. Um, yeah, this is a couple of reasons. Like looking at the weapons, like the High Scholar's Grand Staff for 500, of course, that's the staff where, you know, you buy the High Scholar's Bundle in the store that comes with 500 tenders, and then, of course, you buy the staff um, with those 500 tenders, thus getting you the full transmog set. Happy, happy, smile, smile. <sighs> Um, the Headmaster's Charge Upres for 500. Corrupted Blade Fist, 525. Those prices are really feeling pretty big. I wonder if we can draw any sort of conclusions, any sort of correlation, any sort of logical reasoning to, as to why the things have been getting a little bit more expensive as time goes on. Let me just take... Especially recently when things are actually quite, quite out there in forms of expensive. I wonder if there's like any... Cause like like I'm kind of puzzled here. Do you think there's anything anything going on here? It's a bit more um, a bit more cynical than we uh, maybe would have let on or imagined in the, in the early days when we were so naive and saw this trading post and went, ah, yes, this is beautiful and fantastic. The early days, a long I, time ago. I wonder February if February and March of this year. Yeah, I wonder if there's anything. I wonder if there's anything that Blizzard are trying to sort of tell us with what they're doing here, because it's certainly a little bit interesting to me. Yeah, man, Boil, boiling a frog, Matthew. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, I fucking we were boiled years ago. <laughs> the Guardian. We are, we are. You know that picture of the of the fish that's like it's like it's still red. It, it's still red, so it must be raw, it's like, and it's actually glowing with embers. Yeah, look at yeah, this. that's us. So you just go go below the weapons there. Below the weapons. That cost two hundred and twenty five. I love to go below the weapons. <laughs> like Getting like that cost two twenty five. Now that said, uh, that's all right. You also have like this one handed mace that back then did cost four fifty. So I think the point is just like some of their pricing is quite loopy and expensive, and that's just the situation. No, they just made they just made shit up like. They're just sticking numbers on, oh, whatever. And then, yeah, and it's like, oh, but you can get three class weapons for 500. See, that's an older one. Oldie, old, old one. Old one, old. Mm. New, happy new. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's what's up there. Um, there's just so much. It's insane. And that's cool, but it's also just, it's just drop kicking people in the wallet going, uh, yeah. ha ha. What's that? You like stuff? Well, we can exploit that. What's that? You want an experience of some capacity? You want some sort of some sort of a p- positive experience of playing our game? Some sort of some sort of consumption that feels in any capacity ethical and in your favor and like we're simply a part of a one of a two-way transaction that benefits us both? Yeah, well, um welcome to 2023, motherfucker. Hand over your wallet or we will kick you into the sea. That is the uh the modern large video game industry uh methodology of trade. Is give us your wallet or we'll kill you. Like that's um I don't know if that's uh I don't know if it's just me, but that feels a little bit unsustainable. Just a little. Just a little. This but is, we're not here to talk economic theory. We're here to talk this about is never all been, this shit. This has never been about sustainability. You silly sausage. I love whenever <laughs> everyone watched all of the all of the great like media that was about you know, we're draining the land's resources too fast. It's never going to last. And then everyone who apparently works in the large video game industry watched those movies and went, the villains were the heroes all along. Fantastic. 